What's up everyone, I'm back again. And this time we're gonna say what stock should you buy? You know, everyone likes the stock market or don't like it. And always ask me what stock should I buy? And before I get into what stock you should buy, this is not financial advice. This is just some guy on YouTube just talking from his experience on how he finds stocks and what he do to find the stocks. So back again, this is not financial advice, this is not business advice. This is just some random guy on YouTube. And always go to a professional to get assistance if you need help. Alright, so number one. It depends on your knowledge base. If you don't know anything about makeup, you're going to have to learn all about makeup before you start purchasing stocks and makeup. It makes sense, doesn't it? Why would you buy something and not know anything about the product? I'm not going to invest into a company and not know anything about them. That sounds ignorant. And it's best to stick what you know and invest into what you know. I'm a very big investor in high dividends, growth stocks, and it worked out pretty well for me. Too bad I had to start selling them to make ends meet, but it is what it is. Now, that's that's all I got to say about um what stocks you should buy. The stocks you should buy is based off your knowledge base and what you know. Now, more people will know more about stocks and they can give you more detail about it, but at the end of the day, if you don't know anything about the company, I mean, you don't know anything about the company, why are you investing into that company? So, instead of what stocks you should buy, let's talk about what to avoid let's say let's avoid day trading day trading is not for everyone unless you can sell your computer every day and look at it between certain times don't do day trading swing trading anything always invest for the long term because most people fail with day trading and what's the other thing you need to avoid well the other thing you need to avoid is penny stocks gosh how many people had to talk out of buying penny stocks because they say it's a good deal and it's they don't know anything about the company. They say it's cheap. Well, cheap doesn't always mean better. Cheap doesn't mean it's always going to have the best returns. So always think about what it is first. So don't be cheap and think that penny stocks is going to make you rich because you can buy fractional share of stocks now. So penny stocks kind of in my opinion are kind of obsolete if you're trying to use those for growth as you can buy pra uh, fractional shares now in the past you couldn't so penny stocks were a good choice to get into but now you can buy fractional shares so try to avoid them if you can unless you really know that they're going to do well if you can only do 10 investment in your whole lifetime I'm pretty sure they're not going to be all in penny stock so do your due diligence and a penny stock is I believe it's described as anything below five bucks and y'all can look this up since I'm not a financial expert put it in the comment below or something like that and let me know and the last thing I gotta tell you please avoid reddit and any other social media influencer because a lot of times I notice that they're just pumping and dumping so they get this very, very big following. Very, very big following. And then they say, hey, they'll buy the stock. And they wait a few days and they'll like, tell everyone, hey, 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 come here, come here. Buy the stock. It's going to it's gonna do well. And then they do it. And then not thinking that long term that that stock is crap. But short term, hey, they can make millions of dollars off of you. Or hundreds of thousands of dollars off of you making you buy this stock because you fell for the social media influencer most social media influencer 
does not know what they're talking about in stocks. They're just pumping and dumping on you so that you will be holding an empty bag while they take your money. So stop. Just pick good quality stocks and you'll be fine. It's whenever you try to strike it rich in overnight succession in stocks that you, everyone will start having issues. So the best choice of action is to buy stocks that you are knowledgeable about, have a true understanding, and you want ownership of part of that company. You hear what I said? A stock is part owner of a company. You might be one-tenth of a million of an owner of the company, but you're still part owner of the company. That's why you buy a stock, because you want to own a piece of the company. You don't buy the stock because someone told you to. Well, that's my what stocks you need to buy is based off your knowledge base and the three things to avoid you need to avoid day trading you need to avoid penny stocks and you need to avoid reddit and social media influence because they're just dumping pumping and dumping on you on the stock market so if you do those things you should be avoid those things you should be fine the stock market is not that difficult you just find a company that you want to own if you don't want to own that company then don't buy that stock. It's based off of your belief and what you know. Now, please like and subscribe. I lost my job, so these videos should make me some money and help me out in the future. So, alright, later. Have a blessed day.